How to import untracked products to AutoDS. In the products page, you have all of the products that are in your shop that are currently being monitored by AutoDS. And if you have any untracked products, you'll see a message here on the top, like for this example, 40 untracked products. So if you click on that, you'll see a list of all of the untracked products that you have in your shop. If you were using another dropshipping tool or software and you would like to import your products to AutoDS, just use the help links in the comments below this video or visit our help center. Untracked products are items that you have in your store that are not currently being synced by AutoDS because there's probably some information that is missing. So AutoDS is currently not monitoring these products. In order to have it monitor the products, we'll have to fill in the missing information. You have the cell ID, which is the product on your shop. So if you click on that, you'll be taken to the product on your shop. The variations quantity is how much quantity we have of each product. AutoDS Demo 3 is the name of the shop in which we're uploading the product to. And if you click on more, you'll be able to see all of the variants that you have. For example, black and red for the headphones once I clicked on it. Now let's go back. Or you can delete the product from AutoDS and from your shop. Here's the information that's missing. And once we fill it in, AutoDS will be able to sync with your supplier and your shop and to monitor the product. The first field that we have is the source ID. The source ID is the product's ID on the supplier site. For example, if we go to AliExpress, you see that we have all of these toys, a lot of variations under this product name, toy dinosaurs. The product ID can be seen over here with the help of the AutoDS Chrome extension. As you can see, I have it installed down here on the bottom right. Just search Google for AutoDS Chrome extension or see the help links below this video on how to download the Chrome extension. Once you have it on AliExpress, it'll show you the item IDs over here and you can copy it easily from here. In many cases, you'll also be able to extract the product ID from up in the URL if you know where to find it. So let's try to import one of these untracked products to our store and have AutoDS monitor it. Let's start with the first example up here, these headphones. I have them over here. They're from Amazon. So the first thing that AutoDS needs is the source ID. That's exactly what we just talked about, the product ID. So let's get them from the supplier site. On Amazon, you can find the product ID up in the URL over here. It's called the ASIN. If you can't find it in the URL, just hit Control F to start a search and search for the word ASIN. You'll find it here on the bottom. And here's the product ID. As you can see, it's the same one that we see up in the URL. So copy that, paste it in the source ID, select the supplier. In this case, it's Amazon. The region is the United States. Then we're going to click on add. And as you can see, the product was sent to the import process on AutoDS, bulk import to selling platform from untracked. Here's the progress. If you click on view details, you'll see more in-depth information of what's going on. We just need to give it another half a minute to load up. But this is how the process works. And now the product is going to move from untracked to the tracked section of AutoDS over here to the regular products section. And it will be monitored like the rest of the products that we see over here. So that's how you import untracked products to AutoDS. As you can see up here, it finished importing it successfully. If we click on view details, we'll see everything that it did. So we took the product that we talked about, the headphones created today. The source item ID is the ASIN, which we talked about. This is the ASIN that we filled in. The product ID, once we click on it, will be taken to the product ID on the source site. Going back, you have the sell item ID, the same product on your shop. If you click on that, you'll be taken to the product on your shop, the store which you uploaded it to, and the status which is complete. Rinse and repeat for each and one of your untracked products. If you don't remember which supplier it came from, or if you don't have the source ID, just click the three dots, delete it. If you come up with it again in the future, add the product again using add products. Keep in mind that each source ID refers to a single variant. So for example, over here, you have a hundred different variants. You're going to have to put in show variants. You're going to have to put in the source ID for each and every variant. Each variant differs from the other, different color, different size, and so forth. An additional method to import untracked products to AutoDS is by adding from a CSV file. What this option does is it lets you import untracked products in bulk. So you won't have to do it one by one. 
So let's click on add from CSV. You're going to have to drag and drop your CSV file over here. And then AutoDS will extract all of its information and import the products to AutoDS. Let's download an example file by clicking this link over here. As you can see, it downloaded the CSV file onto my computer. Click on that. Here's the CSV example file that AutoDS downloaded for us. So let's just arrange it, make it comfortable for our eyes. Format cells. This is a number column with no decimal places. Okay, so you have your product ID, which is the product's ID on your site, on your shop. You have the buy ID, which is the product ID on the source site or the ASIN from Amazon. You have the supplier, which is the supplier's name and the supplier's region, the region where the supplier is from. You also have the variant SKU. If you don't have the information regarding the variant SKU, it's not important. You can delete that. But these four columns is what AutoDS needs to be able to successfully import the products to the system. So if you don't have the product ID or the source ID, or you don't remember where the supplier came from or which region he's from, you won't be able to import the product to AutoDS. If you have all of this relevant information, then you can upload as many products as you want in bulk. And that's the advantage of working with CSV files. All you have to do is save the file once you're done working with it. Go back to AutoDS, go to the documents. Here's where I saved it. Just drag and drop it over here. Processing the CSV. And the product was sent to be imported to AutoDS. Don't pay attention to the error that we got. It's only because the products in our CSV file don't really exist in our untracked products. But if you're gonna work the right way, obviously you're not gonna get this error and everything is gonna work successfully. So that's how you can import products in bulk in the untracked section using the CSV file. So that's how you can import products to AutoDS, whether you're doing it one by one or uploading them in bulk through a CSV file. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I will personally answer them. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to always stay updated on all of the cool stuff that's going on in the dropshipping world and on the AutoDS platform.